By the looks, sessions are terrible. Some people scream in horror, some make sounds of animals. Stanislav became the creator of his own method, which is known all over the world as holotropic breathing. Stanislav Grof Stanislav Grof is a Czech psychiatrist who became disillusioned with the practical effectiveness of Freudian psychoanalysis and began his personal research. One day, an unusual experimental substance called LSD, just recently discovered by Albert Hoffman, was brought to the clinic where Stanislav worked. It has been argued that it can help a doctor enter a condition very similar to a mental illness. And it could help psychiatrists practice a better understanding of patient, let's say, by being in their shoes. Stanislav decided to test it on himself in the name of science. He became the best-known psychiatrist who conducted many studies using LSD and a researcher of psychedelic experience. In the late 60s, LSD became illegal. So Stanislav began looking for an alternative, how to help person enter a state of altered consciousness without using any drugs. And this alternative was found in ancient teachings. Thus, having rethought the prison practices of the peoples of the world, like pranayamas, Stanislav became the creator of his own method, which is known all over the world as holotropic breathing. Greek word holos means whole, tropos – direction. The method is based on a specific long-term accelerated breathing that changes oxygen levels in the body, and special music that enhances the emotions associated with the displaced unconscious material, thereby provoking its release. Attentive listeners will notice that this sounds very similar to the shamanic practices. Well, it is. But the looks sessions are terrible. Some people scream in horror, some make sounds of animals, others cry or laugh, and someone spreads in sincere joy or lies relaxed, plunged into himself. In general, everyone shows what is usually hidden from the human eyes, what happens and is suppressed in his unconscious. Due to the releasing and full manifestation of strong emotions, in combination with unpleasant physical sensations, the participants of the session get a certain healing and transformative effect. Some kind of cathartic effect. The sessions are supervised by doctors. Grof often draws an analogy between the experience a person feels during a holotropic breathing sessions and the experience that a newborn feels while moving along the birth canal. While it is true that many of Groff's interpretations of holotropic and psychedelic experiences have yielded to criticism of scientific community, but nevertheless, the amount of accumulated empirical evidence and Stanislav Groff's contribution to psychology research cannot be overestimated. Groff is still alive, he is 91 years old, his main activity in recent decades remains group trainings of holotropic breathing. Speaking of Grof, it must be mentioned uh, that he is one of the founders of transpersonal psychology, which combines modern psychological concepts, theories and methods with traditional spiritual practices of East and West. Grof shares the idea that the world is created and governed by the absolute consciousness, and all individual subjects of consciousness retain the essential identity to their source as well as to each other. And we will see that almost all people in today's video were agree with this view. And it makes me wonder. I would also like to say that at the moment holotropic breathing is the healthiest and most natural alternative way for those who want to go beyond themselves as opposed to the sessions of ayahuasca and other substances that we will not mention here.